five surprising things you should never use if you have a septic system. Number five, products labeled flushable. I know these wipes say they are flushable, but they lied. At least according to the drain cleaning specialist that came to my rental property three times in a row, he said you should never flush these things, and that was on a city sewer. So if you want to see in action how this might be a problem, stay tuned for my other video at the end. Another example is flushable cat litter. If you flush the clumps scooped out of the cat litter box, that convenience may cost you over 10 grand in repairs eventually. So unless you're gonna teach Mr. Meow Meow to use the toilet directly, you're gonna to have to take those little clumps out of the kitty litter box and still put them in the trash. It might be okay to use flushable cat litter in a city home, but definitely not when you're on a septic system. Number four is drain cleaner. Like Drano, just say drain no. According to one septic sucking services company, as little as 0.4 ounce of drain cleaner can be enough to destroy the bacteria in your septic tank. Now, Drano states it is safe for septic systems, so I will let you decide. But an alternative uh, that is chemical free to quickly clear a clogged drain is the drain weasel. It works extremely well. You don't have to take parts of your sink apart. You simply put this down the drain, pull it out, and throw it away. It's an effective and quick chemical free alternative to drain cleaners. Number three, fabric softeners. Fabric softeners host an array of chemicals from petroleum products, silicone-based anti-foamy agents, and emulsion stabilizers that can cause issues with the stratification layers in a septic tank. They also use slimy chemicals referred to as clots, which are known to kill bacteria. Bacteria are what break down solids in a septic tank. So you don't want it to kill off all the bacteria as it is needed to break down waste in the tank. A safe natural alternative to chemical fabric softeners is white vinegar. Simply place it in the slot for your fabric softener and it will help keep the mineral deposits in the water from sticking to your clothes, making them softer. Number two, antibacterial soap. Because it kills germs and germs are what break down the solids in the tank. Are you picking up on a theme? And that leads to the number one surprising thing that may be destroying your septic system's function. So the number one most surprising thing you should not put down a septic system is bleach. Yes, I know it makes your home and laundry squeaky clean because it kills bacteria, which when used in more than moderation will also kill bacteria in your septic tank. Bacteria is what breaks it all down breaks down the fecal matter, that is. It doesn't make the system break down because if the system quits and breaks down, that's when you might have a breakdown and we don't want that. So keep the use of bleach in moderation. A few places you may be using more bleach than you realize is laundry detergent with bleach, toilet bowl cleaners that say they kill 99% of germs, and automatic toilet bowl cleaning tabs. Those are just a few things you should watch out for to make sure that your septic system is not coming into harm's way with what you put down in your drain. A couple of other quick no-nos that are more commonly known, but you should definitely be aware of. Do not put leftovers or heavy food scraps down your garbage disposal. Your coffee or anything like hair, dental floss, Kleenex, or paint. Basically, if it's not coming out of your body, it's better to put that in the trash and not in your septic tank. And the biggest no-no of all, which is commonly known, but I want to make sure you know, is grease. Any type of oil can be very bad for your septic system. I first saw a ruined septic system over 20 years ago when my clients were buying a house that had four very bright green stripes running across the lawn. It turns out those stripes were the septic system laterals backing up and fertilizing the grass in that area. We found out the reason why is because the family had been using their kitchen sink as a grease trap for their deep fryer. So any kind of grease or oil, you definitely wanna keep out of your septic system. So to protect your septic system, only let three things go down your plumbing. Number one is number one, and number two is number two, and number three is toilet paper. And you want it to be easily dissolved toilet paper. They all say septic safe, but some don't break down as readily as others. How much paper builds up in your tank determines how often you have to have your septic tank pumped. I have sold a few homes where the septic tank had not been pumped for over 25 years and they have had no problems. 
that's unusual. They told me their secret was that they never flushed toilet paper. They always threw the toilet paper in the trash. Now, if that's not convenient for you, that's okay. I have another video for you. You can test to see if your toilet paper breaks down quickly. So check it out at the link below. I'm Realtor Tabitha Elliott. I specialize in acreage properties. I hope that this helps you be more of an expert about your home.